Next up, let's talk about the endpoint for editing images. There is an endpoint that allows you to edit and extend images by uploading a mask. The transparent area of the mask indicates where the image should be edited. And then you provide a prompt that describes the entire image. Here's something important, not just the mask area. It has to describe everything. Images must be square and less than four megabytes in size. Here's a sample of how you use it using the API. You need to provide the files as well as the data. Here's a sample of how you use the API. Here's the URL, then the files that you provide, which is the image and the mask, and then the data, which includes the prompt. And this is the call using the library. Let me show you with a demo. Here's my project. I have the two notebooks, one for the API and the library, then the image and the mask. The image is otter1.png, this one right here. And then the mask is this image with the area that should be edited. Now I do the usual, the imports, the key, and then calling the images edits endpoint, I provide the two files and the prompt. I execute, which takes a few moments, and then I get the response. Here's the image that has been edited. A cute baby sea otter with a barret. And of course, with the library, it's equally as straightforward. I execute, and I get an image with a different barret.